Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So the topic of our discussion is theory of differential association. So let's move on. So the introduction. Sociologist Edwin Sutherland gave this theory in late 1990s and uh, basically what he was trying to do was he was trying to understand the behavior of Davian people and uh, from where did they learn this behavior where did that behavior came into their personality so he was trying to understand that and in that pursuit he gave this theory of theory of differential association and this theory directly comes from the sociological concepts of socialization and group learning it is directly linked from them so what are the basic principles of that theory first principle the criminal behavior is learned that's obvious and uh, let's move on learn through the process of communication and interaction now that proposes something that the behavior that any person is uh, any criminal is showing is what he has learned from someone from the process of socialization from his environment the behavior is learned externally from people or the society or from the people that he communicates with learn from the most closest group so for anyone the most closest group is his family his friends these are the most closest people to anyone and what this theory postulates is that they learn this behavior for them from them another point is differential associations may vary in frequency duration priority and intensity so what that point is talking about it is talking about that a person learned a criminal behavior from someone and uh, now he's trying to imitate that in uh, that behavior so it can vary in frequency duration priority or intensity of the crime it can be changed a little bit it can be modified but the basic proposition is that he learned that behavior from someone from that external environment an external environment is a society learning is similar in all non criminal and criminal behaviors i think that's a fairly simple point i don't have to explain it so there were few criticisms on that theory and now we are going to discuss those criticisms what were the what were the criticisms in it does not ex explain the origin of criminality that's a, that's quite a fair point of criticism that from where does that criminal criminality originated someone learned from someone that criminal behavior but who was the first person who did the crime and from where did he learn that criminal behavior that criticism directly hits that point let's move on to another criticism does not differentiate between the crimes of passion and accident now there is uh, another aspect of crime it is intention for a crime to be committed there needs to be an intention behind that malicious behavior so this theory doesn't differ differentiate between the crimes of passion or, or accident it can happen an accident the person was not intending uh, intending that behavior does not explain the cr crimes by those who know who have no prior contact with criminals it does it's this theory is basically silent about those persons who have com who who committed those crimes but didn't have any prior record of being social with those criminal people or those bad peoples another criticism is does not differentiate between criminal and non criminal behavior since both types are learned it's quite fair let's move on i don't think it needs much explanation does not take psychological factor into account so this point is quite an interesting point psychological factor psychological factor can be the motivation or the thoughts going behind everything thoughts going behind the criminal behavior it can be the motivation of those things 
does not account for differential rate of crimes so this theory is basically silent about those things that criminal behavior differentiates in different environments it differentiates in the rural areas in urban areas between gender between different races and uh, it's different and this theory gives no clue of why it is different in all those areas so that was all thank you very much allah hafiz